man, I, I seriously could have been paralyzed or, you know, my career could have been done. I could have been seriously hurt, broke my neck. Um, there's so many factors. And then seeing the video footage back of myself upside down, literally on the top of my head, wow. So I'm here with WWE superstar Austin Theory. Thank you so much for joining us on WWE Path to Perth with the West Australian newspaper. Of course. You know, I'm happy to be here. Happy to be in Australia. First time. So very excited. So you've flown forever to get here. Let's talk about 20 hours in, in the air. It's a big commitment when you're not actually on the card. I'm assuming you'll appear somewhere, though. Of course. You know, you can't. You can't come all the way to Australia and not have Austin Theory. So there's going to be some Austin Theory live, but we're going to you know, keep that top secret. But uh, yeah, 20 hours, lost a whole day coming here. I mean, that's a, that's a day out of my valuable life, you know. But no, it was a great flight, and um, here we are, ready to kick things off for the Elimination Chamber. So we're all accustomed to having to fly a long way to get anywhere. But you were in Anaheim on Tuesday morning, our time, went to Ontario Airport, off to Honolulu, and then to Perth. So you left mid-afternoon Tuesday for us. You landed 1 p.m. Wednesday for us. What did you do to fill in that sort of time on the plane with a bunch of your mates? Well, it's pretty crazy uh, the way you explain that schedule. I actually, uh, Friday, I believe, uh, when we did SmackDown, uh, we did a day, uh, double taping of SmackDown, and we were in Utah. And then Saturday morning, I flew to Oakland, California for another show, a WWE live event, and then drove to Fresno for another live event Sunday, and then drove Monday to Ontario for the flight, and then uh, jumped on the flight. I sat uh, right next to Dirty Dom, you know? So, uh, you know, we had a great time. Uh, there was like a, uh, like one of the meals, it was like a, uh, an omelet. It's probably the worst omelet I've ever had in my life. But uh, other than that, you know, the flight went smoothly, got some sleep, got some rest, and uh, I'm ready for the elimination chamber. So you were in town yesterday and you were straight away out of Doherty's gym. We got that photo in the paper today. The, you're on the front page of WWE today. You're in double page spread inside. As we can see down here, we've been all over the newspaper for the entire time. Like, you must be excited about the build up to this event and how, how Perth's really taken over for it. Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, it's huge, you know, and especially all the exposure um, WWE has out here. And, um, I mean, even look at, you know, somebody like Rhea Ripley, who's from Australia and who's on top of her game right now and who's going to um, be one of the big matches to headline the Elimination Chamber this Saturday. Um, it's really cool just to see how far the WWE can go and how much we can spread our wings and even the fans, you know, we have so many fans here. And speaking of that stadium, you're talking about how huge it is. Uh, we're going to pack that thing out. So... You are an honorary Aussie. You have worked a lot with Indy Hartwell. You've worked a lot with Grayson Wallace. You would know a lot about this country, I would have thought, in our cultures. Yeah, I mean, you would think that, right? Uh, but today was actually the first time I had Vegemite. So uh, I don't know. I don't know if uh, Indy Hartwell and Grayson Waller have been the best teachers. But uh, I think I've learned, you know, some little things from them. So Has it been fun work working with them, given they're from different country, different, different build up, everything you would talk about normally in life has been different because of hanging out with them? Yeah. And I would say what's really cool, too, is uh, I, I actually um, I've never worked with, you know, anybody from Australia until I got to WWE, you know, meeting people like uh, Rhea Ripley, working with Indy Hartwell, her kind of being my sister on NXT in the way. Um, and then Grayson Waller, me and him right now, you know, running wild on SmackDown. You never know what, you know, trouble we're going to get into. But uh, it's really cool to get to come over and see that side that they always talk about, you know, because they they do say Australia is better than America. That's what they're saying. So I'm here to, you know, let me see if that's true. Well, it's true. Don't worry about it. It's, I mean, it is, you say it, 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 all right. It is true. Most importantly, though, you are single-handedly responsible for bringing The Rock back to WWE. He was gone for four years, and then he turned up and confronted yourself. What, what was that day like? I mean, I guess you really, like, have to ask The Rock how did that feel. Because, you know, he went out there with Austin Theory. And, you know, I was out there with Pat McAfee doing my own thing. But The Rock came out because The Rock wants to be popular again. So he came out there and he got 150 million views with Austin Theory at the time. It's probably like 200 million, 300 million now. But, you know, for me, it was just another day at work, you know. But for The Rock, look what it's done for him. I mean, promoted him to being, you know, right there at the board of directors with TKO. I mean, he's really inspired by me. He's done a lot of things. And, like, look now. There's a whole bunch of, you know, controversy of he's stolen, you know, Cody's story. Am I responsible for that? I mean, I did inspire The Rock. Austin Theory inspired The Rock. You hear that? We all know it.
We all know it. As someone who's coming through the ranks, you've done a lot already, but when you're going face to face with someone like him and know you're going to be you know, having such a big moment, were you nervous going into it? How, how did you handle the day? You know, I was just nervous that, you know, Dwayne, like, just would, you know, feel like he was just so, like, overshadowed by me, you know? I was I was thinking he would feel that, and uh, but I, I went out there, I made him, you know, feel like somebody. I made him feel special, you know, and I think that's what, you know, got his feet under him again, and now he wants to come back and play WWE Superstar, you know? But that's the thing, he wants to play WWE Superstar. Austin Theory lives being a WWE Superstar. So... It's, it's just hard when I think of that time if I was nervous. I just, there was no room for nerves. Rock got to come be a part of Austin Theory Live on my show, SmackDown. And I put him in his place. And I told the whole world, it doesn't matter what The Rock says. It doesn't. How fun was that moment? Like, I think we've all watching wrestling have dreamt of doing that. It doesn't matter what you think. You Dude, got to was, do it. It was so fun. You know, I felt like my eight-year-old self watching wrestling for the first time again. And, you know, just, I, I'm just living my dream you know i'm going out there and i'm putting the rock in his place i put john cena in his place at wrestlemania it's just it's what i do these you know dusty old legends man you know i gotta dust them off make them feel shiny for a little bit and then put them back on the shelf and that's that that's the life austin theory lives you know are you living the life of uh, that you always dreamed of like i said young bloke watching wrestling you wouldn't have ever imagined that you'd be in this position now what's it like man it's it's awesome i mean even look at the perspective of today you know in perth australia i've never been here in my life did i ever think i would be here no and i'm here you know sitting here doing interviews telling you how much the rock sucks and i'm out here supporting my boy grayson waller you know he's got the waller effect on the elimination chamber and it's just, it's mind blowing, you know? And I wake up in this really nice hotel. All these people want to do these things for me. They bring me an omelet. I eat an omelet. I go to the gym. I get, you know, a car service to the gym. Don't even have to ask because I shouldn't. And I get there, have a good workout, and then I just enjoy my day. I do whatever I want. I've never been in Perth, Australia, but I'll do whatever I want in Perth, Australia. And that's what I've been doing. And now, you know, you're lucky. I'm giving you the time. So, you know, make sure you got some important things to ask, all right? Do you think The Rock will be here tomorrow? He's teased today mm. that he might turn up if, if, if at the Grayson Waller effect. I'm assuming you'll be part of the Grayson Waller effect at some point. Do you, do you think he's going to turn up? The, wait, The Rock says that he, he might. He might turn up. He might have to smack the piss out of Ro Cody Rhodes and Seth oh, Rollins. Wow. He said if, and the, if the crowd feels like they need to inform him that he needs to be here, he'll do his best to get here is what he said today. Wow. What a, what a hero, you know? What a good guy. Somebody that you just need, right? Like Perth, Australia needs The Rock, right? We need him for the Elimination Chamber. No, we don't. We don't, we don't need Dwayne. He can stay where he's at. Nobody needs to smack Cody Rhodes because Grayson Waller's probably going to do that on the show. And, hey, you know, if I decide, yeah, I got some time, I'll come join the show, maybe I'll just smack Cody Rhodes, you know? But I'm not doing a favor for The Rock, you know, and – I've seen some things online, and it looks like Grayson kind of supports The Rock a little bit. You know, he likes the way, you know, he's doing things. But, yeah, there's a little tension there. It's a little bit of tension. But to answer your question, I could care less if The Rock's going to come or not. And truthfully, he, he doesn't have a spot. He doesn't have a place. He doesn't need to be here because all the star power is going to be at the Elimination Chamber, and it's sitting right next to you. So, And if you want to meet this bloke, you can meet up with him at Westfield wait, Carousel. Wait, wait. What, did, what did you call me? I called you a bloke. A bloke. Define bloke. Define bloke. Oh, bloke's a, a, a man, a good human, a good bloke, people will say, you know, over here. So bloke's not, not in any way disrespectful in Australia. You need, you need to drop we, that word even more. How can we more. up that? How can we up the bloke? How can how we, can we make bloke? that even better? That, oh, this amazing human being, this superstar from, from WWE, this That's man right. who has travelled all around the world to capture our attention and make us all feel like right. we are worthy. That's right. If you want to meet him, you can go to Westfield Carousel, 10 a.m. on Saturday, catch up with him, and I'm sure he will treat you in the exact same way as he's treating us, which is an amazing welcome from such a superstar human and a wonderful bloke. And you can also catch That's up with right. Grayson Waller at 3 p.m. on Friday at Karen Up Shopping Centre. You can go to Optus Stadium on Friday also around midday, just outside the Camfield on the Southern Oval. Uh, the train station will be open for people to get there. It's going to be open. It will be open. 
and you can then see all of the superstars on stage as part of a, a live performance, which we broadcast back into the US as well. And if you haven't got your tickets yet, I don't know why you wouldn't have tickets, go to ticketmaster.com.au. There are still some available, and you can experience the Elimination Chamber at Optus Stadium. It is going to be amazing. You were at the Chamber last year. You won the Chamber last year. What's it like inside there? I've asked, I asked a few guys how, how crazy it actually is to be in that environment. What's it like? To be honest, uh, there's nothing more dangerous in the WWE than the Elimination Chamber. And I think I'm the perfect man to answer that question because, you know, if we take it back to my first Elimination Chamber for the WWE Championship, I was one of the last competitors left in there. But I was with Brock Lesnar and I got F5'd off the top of the chamber and uh, I could have nearly ended my career there. But then what did I do? I didn't quit. I didn't give up on myself like a lot of these losers watching this do. What did I do? I, I focused. I was determined. And I went into the Elimination Chamber literally the next year and defended the United States Championship in the Elimination Chamber for the first time ever. And I won. I went through everybody. Walked out, United States Champion. You talk about the danger inside and what you can do. Like some of the the ability to utilize the chamber is going to be a real feature of, of this event, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, there's you know the the steel chain that's on the side, you know, getting thrown into that. Your back hitting it. Your face getting grinded into it. Getting you know slammed into these glass pods. You know, who knows? You might go through it. You might take a hard hit and land right on that metal steel floor. Um, there's just so many things. You know, somebody like Montez Ford. He likes to climb on top of the chamber, you know, and fall on everybody. I mean, that's, it's there, you know, you can use anything you can. There's a lot of room in there. There's a lot of guys in there. And uh, there's a lot of room for error, for sure. And uh, walking out of there on both of your two feet, it's, uh, you kind of got to be proud of yourself for that. Because it is, it is not something that, you know, is very forgiving. Outdoor stadium show, you wouldn't have been to the Optus Stadium yet, but the field compared to US fields is enormous. Like an Australian rules footy fields, 130 metres wide, which is longer than, which is wider than the length of an NFL field. So you're going to be twice the width, even more than twice the width of an NFL field and a long way away from fans at different points. Do you, do you feel all the atmosphere? Do you, do you feel all the noise? Is it different to an indoor event when you're out there like that? Man, anytime it's, uh, you know, more people are packed into a stadium or an arena um, or, you know, like you're saying, the, the size, uh, just having more room, that just allows more of that energy. And we all know being a WWE superstar with that energy, uh, it just takes you to new levels. It almost gives you like a, a superhero type feel. And um, it's Australia. And, you know, having a, a premium live event here as big as the Elimination Chamber, whew, it's, uh, man, it makes me kind of, you know, I feel it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot because you're going to hear those people. It's going to be loud. And it's definitely going to be a moment to remember forever. We certainly do know about noise here. The 2021 AFL Grand Final was as loud as you can get when Fremantle beat the Western Bulldogs in an elimination final here a couple of years ago. It was super loud as well, and Coldplay were here recently. So, are you looking wait, 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 to hold on. Did you say Coldplay? Coldplay were here recently, packed it out as well. Who cares so about Coldplay? It was loud there as well. Are you I'm talking me? about noise. It's going right. to be a noisy right. yeah, for you but guys. You're wasting time talking about Coldplay, all right? <laughs> Let's talk about I'm Money in the Bank that. US title. Big couple of years for, right. for you. You've had some fun, haven't you? A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Youngest Mr. Money in the Bank. Of all time. Youngest United States champion. Wait for it. Of all time. Who's done that? Who's done that? Who's going to do that? Who's going to beat that? No one. No one. I'm a young legend. Young living legend. All right? Write that down. BBT. Big body theory. Remember that. You're having fun, clearly, with, with, with all of the opportunities that are coming your way and what you're able to do in the ring. Absolutely. I mean, I'm just taking full advantage of everything that's thrown my way. And I think... Uh, you know, in these moments, I've, I've really got to, you know, bring my best. And, you know, if you want to bring it back to look at Dwayne, you know, when he showed up, I put him in his place. Everybody knew who the man was when I walked out of there, you know. And, yeah, he, he took it. You know, what? I'm done talking about Dwayne. All right. You, I'm done. You, you're I'm taking done. a lot of people down. Like you, you've been involved in some big, big moments. Like the WWE have shown enormous faith in what you can do with The Rock and with, with Cena, with Stone Cold. Like you, you've had the moments to, to shine with the legends, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty good at, you know, pushing the wheelchair for all these old guys, you know. I'm really good at it, especially John, you know, at WrestleMania. Beat him so bad, went back to Hollywood, became a mermaid. 
um, Dwayne Johnson, you know, now he's whew, he's living it, you know. He, he wants to be all a part of this now because good old Austin Theory, you know, let him know that it didn't matter what he had to say. So I'm shining, man. I'm making these guys that I used to grow up watching just – they're so proud to, to be a part of this with me. It's great. To so them being in wheelchairs, I, I was watching you. I was worried you might end up in a wheelchair when you went off the top rope with Car- Carmelo Hayes. This like, guy. How – Concerned? How how serious was was that injury for you at the start? Or what, did you think that you might have done something really really bad? Well, uh, all jokes aside, uh, when it comes to inside that ring and what we do, uh, the risk level is extremely high. It doesn't matter how many times you want to practice or go through a routine of a move. Uh, you know, it's real life. There's danger with that. It's two human bodies uh, doing superhuman like things you know these moves um so in in this scenario with Carmelo Hayes uh going for a move I've done plenty of times uh just so happens as we're going through the rotation if you go back and look uh the back of his foot as he's rotating off hits the top rope so all the momentum of us rotating when his foot hits it takes us straight down and uh yeah, just based off of the video, it, it looks insane. And to be honest, after that, uh, man, I, I seriously could have been paralyzed or, you know, my career could have been done. I could have been seriously hurt, broke my neck. Um, there's so many factors. But luckily, as we came down, um, for some reason, I, I let go to, you know, catch myself and I turned my head all the way to the left. And when we landed, just the back of his head hit my face pretty hard. But when we were laying there, I was fine. I didn't feel like rocked or, you know, lost or you, that feeling of, oh, what's going on? You know, I, I felt fine. But at the same time, too, you know, that's such a, a scary moment, you know, especially when you're out there and something goes wrong and doesn't feel right. And then seeing the video footage back of myself upside down, literally on the top of my head. Wow. Like, very grateful for that. And uh, that move is retired for Austin Theory. So, yeah. Did you, did you avoid concussion or were you? No, I, I didn't have, you know, any issues. I just, uh, my face was pretty sore just from uh, the impact of his head hitting my face. But uh walked away grateful, you know, and very uh, shocked at the situation because, you know, that's one of those that just like that could have been over with. And you put a lot of work into your body over time. I would imagine the amount of strength that you've put into yourself would yeah. have probably saved your life, potentially, or your career. Yeah, I would say, like, uh, something I do at the gym every single day is uh, I lay on, like, a flat bench, and I ha- I hang my head off, and I literally do neck sit-ups. I do, like, no less than 100 every day. So, to me, you know, having a strong neck and, and having muscle and working out and stuff like that, it definitely helps and definitely uh you know, pushed me away from that line of being seriously injured. So, like I said, I'm very grateful for that. Well, we're all grateful that you're okay and you're well. And, you and better you're sitting, be, and you're, and you're sitting be. here with us. And you know, and you're going to be as you're going to be part of the elimination chamber. You, you've been with Grace and Molly, been doing stuff with Logan Paul as well. He's in, in in the chamber. Tell us about some of the things you're most looking forward to that the fans should look forward to as part of this event. Well, man, I mean, we can start right here with the woman that's right here on the cover of this magazine, Rhea Ripley. She has a huge match against uh, a huge opponent, Nia Jax. Uh, that's a you know, a force to be reckoned with right there. But uh, mommy's shown, you know, the strength she has and uh, what she means, like, with that title. And she's not going to back down. It doesn't matter how big you are or how tough you think you are. So uh, that's a match I'm looking forward to. I would say Rhea Ripley's bringing it home. But, you know, Nia Jax is a very scary woman. So that's a uh, that's an interesting one for me. But, of course, we have uh, the women's and men's Elimination Chamber matches. And these are very exciting matches. Um, it's the chamber. Uh, like we just talked about how brutal it is inside those chambers. And me having the experience uh, in two chambers, that match is uh, it's going to rule. But it's, it's going to be hard to watch. But at the same time, very exciting to watch and to see who, you know, can go through all that pain and prevail to the top. That's going to be very interesting. But... I would say the number one thing on this show that you got to be looking forward to is the Grayson Waller effect. You know, you got Grayson Waller from Australia, great person, great human being. And then as guests, you got a goofy Seth freaking Rollins. I've beaten him plenty of times. Uh, he's probably going to wear one of his uh, sister's outfits. And then um, Cody Rhodes. Um, 
I hope he comes out there with his book and uh, can read the end of his story because I'm sure Grayson's going to let him know that, you know, that story just sucks. It really does. And we're tired of hearing it. Everybody has a story. Why is it all about Cody Rhodes? He had his chance last year. Once again, I don't like this guy, but The Rock did say, you know, that Cody did have his ch had his chance, you know? He did last year, and now he gets another turn he, because he whines, because he, he's complaining. But, you know, I don't need to talk too much about that because the Grayson Waller effect is going to answer a lot of questions about Seth Rollins, about Cody Rhodes. And, of course, the world's going to get to see my boy, Grayson Waller. Australia's own. Australia's own. You better be clapping. Well, it's going to be massive. It's going to be a huge event. The Elimination Chamber, Saturday, February 24 at Optus Stadium. Go to ticketmaster.com.au to get your tickets. If you're interstate and can't get here, you can watch it on Binge. Keep reading all of your news about what's going on in the build-up in the West Australian newspaper and at thewest.com.au. You can go to the Superstore in Forest Place to just get buy whatever you want, see a lot of the superstars there. They're going to be on stage outside Optus Stadium on Friday as well. And this man will be at Carousel, 10 a.m. on Saturday. But the main thing is Elimination Chamber on Saturday Thank you so much for joining us on WWE Path to Perth. Can you say that one more time? The thank you part. Thank you very much for joining us, That's bloke, right. on WWE Path to Perth. All right. I'll, I'll accept that, okay? I'm glad you will. I'll accept that because you told me what that word meant, and you said that it's the most amazing man that there is on this planet. So I'll be a bloke today, okay? All right? Very good. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs>